So now we come to the part where we install an Electrum server. Now your Electrum server is the back end to your Electrum wallet, but not just Electrum wallet. Um, there are other pieces of software that use an Electrum back end. There's uh, Blue Wallet, there is um, uh, Nunchuck, and there is Sparrow Wallet as well. So those are some um, programs that use the Electrum Rust server as a potential backend to uh, this, the, these wallets. Now, um, to install the Electrum Rust server, we'll go head on over to uh, GitHub Electras. Uh, it basically stands for Electrum Rust Server. Um, I think this is an TRS. Sorry, uh, it's this one here. Um, now to install, it's uh, yeah, you can just click this usage instructions. Um, what you'll need is the latest version of Rust, so sudo apt install cargo, um, and all of these dependencies here as well. So what we'll do is we'll just add this, crack it into the terminal, as well as um, we will also install cargo. Okay, so once that has now been installed, we just need to clone the Electrum Rust server onto our local. So let's uh, copy that and paste that in. Uh, I'm gonna download everything to the um, my home directory. And here it'll say CD Electrum Rust server. So uh, Electrum there. And we will then uh, basically copy this out here like so and it says here build first build should take roughly 20 minutes so let's see how that goes okay so that has now finished um, in 10 minutes or so 11 minutes Okay, so once that has finished, uh, we can now start to um, connect our Electrum Rust server through to our uh, Bitcoin D instance. Now, what we need to do is build a, uh, a config file um, that we can use. Um, we're gonna call it the electras.toml file. Um, and it's going to uh, be in this directory here in our slash electras um, folder. Now, what we'll do is we will use um, the one that is already pre-compiled for us and edit that accordingly. So that is in our uh, doc file. So what I'll do is uh, we'll CD into the doc file and it's this uh, config example.toml. So I'm gonna copy this config um, uh, file, uh, the example and put it into home Catan Electras, okay? So now when I have this, um, there is this example or config uh, underscore example dot toml and I'm going to rename it. Now to rename things, um, you just move them. So config uh, underscore example dot toml can be moved to electras dot toml like so. So now what we have is an electras uh, dot toml file and let's nano into that and amend accordingly. So um, the first thing that we'll need to change is the cookie file. Um, this is your Bitcoin D username and password. So it's not the actual cookie file. It's actually cookie equals username and password. You can see the instructions here uh, in blue. So we will put um, as per our Bitcoin D instance, um, it will be Bitcoin colon Bitcoin as the username and password. And you can verify that um, if you go into your Bitcoin conf. Um, so nano.bitcoin, bitcoin.conf, you will see that your username, our username and password is Bitcoin and Bitcoin there, okay? So we will change that. Um, and then the RPC address is fine. We're on localhost and the database directory. Let's put this into home slash uh, Catan slash electras slash DB. Okay, so we'll create a folder called DB and put it into there. Um, and this, uh, we want all 
uh, IP addresses to be able to connect to our Electrum server. So we'll put 0.0.0.0. .0, .0, .0. Okay. Um, and we should be able to exit out of there, save this and uh, enter. So now what we need to do is this first index sync should take 1.5 hours. So this is going to take a little bit of time. What we'll do is we will just copy this up to here. All of this stuff has already been kind of annotated down, um, but we will, we will, um, you know, we will do up to here. Okay, so let's copy this and we will paste that through and hopefully it will um, build this. So this is good. Um, this is exactly what we kind of want to see. Um, it says here, uh, it, it's very similar. So network info here is version this um, and it, it's now connected through to our uh, Electrum server. Uh, sorry, uh, our Electrum server is now connecting through to our Bitcoin core. So this looks good for now. Um, let's see what happens in over the next course of, you know, an hour or so as it builds out this index. So that's what we're really, you know, waiting for. And what we were expecting to see is at some point, no more blocks left to in, or no more blocks to index. Um, and so that's kind of what we're waiting for. And we'll hopefully uh, get to that. Um, and then, yeah, the server will then, eventually run so that's what we're hoping to see in an hour's time maybe who knows let's see now in the GUI what you were expecting to see is an Electra's um, uh, uh, folder in your home directory and then this DB and then mainnet and so this is where the information is being stored so hopefully um, that will increase in size over time so if you look in the properties it'll be 628 megs now but then in you know a couple of um, minutes time that should then increase And so now it's 709 and you can keep a track of that. This will go to about 70 or 80 gigabytes. So see what happens. So that process has now finished. It's taken a fair bit of time. I started this at uh, say 128 here um, and it ended up finishing. The Electrum uh, RPC server started running at uh, 7.07. .07. So that took a fair few hours to compact and uh, to to compress all the transactions into this database here, um, which uh, is now totaling, if you have a look at this in the properties, it is, uh, you know, uh, 64 gigabytes. So um, that is something uh, that has now finished completing. Um, and so we have another database um, that is using up our uh, our disk space. That is one of the trade-offs with Electrum Server is that it does use an additional amount of disk space rather than just using the Bitcoin Core's um, blocks. Now, uh, this is now finished, so that's good. Um, it's looking good. Um, so what we can do is just uh, control C out of that to stop the server. And the next thing that we can do is make this start on startup. So if we scroll down uh, to the sample system default, what we'll do is we'll edit this and create an electras.service. So um, let's let's do that. So it's sudo nano uh, and we want that in etc systemd system uh, and we want that as electras.service. Okay. And we will just paste that in. And now it's time to edit a couple of things. So working directory, we want as home slash Katan slash Electras. Uh, the start folder is home slash Katan. Uh, Electras target release Electras. Now these we don't need because we've already set that config file. So we don't actually need any of this because we've done that in the configuration file. So we shouldn't need that. User, we will put as um, me, group as me as well. And so that should be uh, pretty much all of it. So control X, yes, and enter. Pseudo systemctl enable electras.service. Pseudo systemctl start electras.service pseudo systemctl status electras dot service 
Okay, and it says here that it is active and it's running. So that pretty much, um, you know, uh, is now available for our uh, our wallets to connect through to. So let's get on to doing that. Now, if you would like to uh, expose this, um, the Electrum server out over Tor, uh, you can do so by following these instructions. I don't particularly uh, feel the need to do that, but if you do want to run it over Tor, um, that you need to add these to the etc Tor um, and Tor RC file. That Tor RC file, uh, you can just add this to the bottom of it and you should be able to just restart Tor and then get the actual address. Um, and then you can uh, connect to it via your um, uh, via your Electrum Wallet. I'll install Electrum Wallet um, next. Now to just clean things up, um, we will just remove this, close that all out. Uh, we'll close this and we now come back to our uh, original uh, desktop um, just to clean it up and make sure it's all working um, uh, all in the background. So that is our uh, the setup of our Electrum Rust server. Let's get on to installing Electrum Wallet. Thanks for watching and if you would like to support the work that I am doing, head on over to our website at ministryofnodes.com.au and click on the support button. We also have paid video tutorials so feel free to check out our store for that. On our web store, you can find a booklet that contains the commands to the entire series. So feel free to check that out as well. And finally, we also offer private consulting sessions where we can discuss Bitcoin related matters. Feel free to book in a session on our calendar. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.